Good day, comic fam. Ready for another stack? Ten more books. This is Comics of the Voice, and we're doing the G.I. Joe, all 155. Stay tuned. Day comic fam, the voice here. I got another pile for our G.I. Joe run. This is 71 through to 80. So I guess this means this is episode 8. Unfortunately, in this group, only two keys. That's it. So 10 books. Eight of them are great stories, but no keys. So this is 71. Got a new stand. Got a couple of direct editions. Looks like one of our dreadnoughts is going home the hard way. Get those like that. Then we're on to issue 72. Holy cow. Nighttime battle. Got a new stand on that one. Is that a Canadian price variant? No, it is not. And that one isn't either. So that is issue 72. I haven't read these ones in so long. I should start flipping through these things and start reading them. I haven't read them in a, a very, very long time. Probably when I rebagged and boarded them is when I was the last time that I actually went through and read them. And even then, I might not have read all of them because you know it's a it's quite a it's quite a chore going through and bagging and boarding. At the time, five thousand books something like that at the time because I didn't know exactly how many I had in my collection I mean I had a you know you can do a rough estimate but until you actually go through each and every book because some books are a little thicker than others in the boxes so you can get an average in a short box and a long box how much they hold but it's not an exact number until you go through them all so now with having photographs of every single book I know right to the number which is just over 7,000 because I'm trying to remember in my head here Issue number 73. Looks like I need a newsstand for this one. Got some more nighttime action battling going on here. Looks like the Joes commandeered themselves a one of the Mambas. We got Flint in, in the lead there. Doing some nighttime covert actions. This one is issue 74. And this is, oh, I, I remember this this uh, group of books. This is when um, there was a, a civil war going on between Cobra Commander and Serpentor. They were trying to figure out, you know, who was going to lead Cobra. And there was a civil war going on. And G.I. Joe took um, advantage of the situation. And they were siding, I believe, with Serpentor. I can't remember the, the details. And they were attacking Cobra Island. So we've got a whole battle with Destro, the Baroness, Hawk, Cobra Commander, and uh, Serpentor. Although that's the fake Cobra Commander. That's Fred Seven. Then we've got issue 75. Looks like Serpentor captured the Baroness and decided to use her as a hood ornament for his tank. And I got that one a couple of direct editions. And the battle is coming to a head. So this one went on for a little while. It was quite a few issues. This one's 76, and this is one of the keys in this group. So issue 76. This is the death of Serpentor. So this is when it came to a head. And uh, Zartan shot him in the head with an arrow and decided the factor. So then Cobra Commander won, and then he kicked... Um, G.I. Joe team off his island and now Cobra Commander is back in control and Serpentor is dead although I think Dr. Mindbender took his body and says don't want to waste good material looks like Zorana and Scarlet are having themselves a little cat fight going on issue number 77 another one I need in a newsstand 
This was a, a recent pickup, 78. Got myself a newsstand. Um, this one's cool because Dr. Burkhart, uh, she showed up in this one again. This was her second appearance. Actually, she might have um, been in a few of them. She ended up dying in one of these issues. I don't think it was this one, though. I made some notes on the back. Yeah, harbors the fugitives of uh, the Joes in her house because there was a bunch of Joes that were in trouble by the government, so she harbored them in her house. So I got that one in a couple of directs, and now I've got the nice newsstand to go with it. And number 79. Oh no, come on, mutt, run. Or is that junkyard? Junkyard? Yeah, I think that's Junkyard the dog. Gonna get buzzsawed. By again, one of the, the one dreadnought that's actually a really smart dude. He's got like a university degree and stuff. He's one of those sleeper guys. And then there's issue, that's at 79. And then issue 80 is my other key in this group of 10. This one's got a bunch of first appearances in it. So number 80, this one's got uh, Hit and Run, Hardball, uh, Charbroil, Muskrat, and Armadillo. So that is the next 10. And we are keep going, so we're at 80. So we're getting there. The next group will bring us to 90, then 100. So five, six, seven more, seven more. That many more. All right, so thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.